Hey there, we're back with Chloe and Creative. What are we making today? Pirate ships! Arr! For today, we need three toilet paper rolls, eight, three chopsticks or skewers, an old cereal box, crayons or markers, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. We also might like some play doh and some glue. The first thing we're going to do is take our toilet paper rolls and cut them in half. So we've started by drawing a line right there and drawing a line on the other side. While Ezra is drawing his skull and crossbones on a sail, I am going to draw little dots at the top and the bottom of the short end of each sail. This sail you cut a hole. You put the blade down where you want it and you spin the blade until you drill a hole into the paper. And then you're going to thread your stick through like that. Next, cut open your box. I've turned this spine part into the base of the boat. That's the part where the boat will sit on the ground. Now I'm going to start here at this top line and make a curved line for the front of the boat and another curved line for the back of the boat. So I've extended my line straight over to the edge and I've cut it out. And now to make this side the same, I'm going to flip this over, trace this line and cut it out. I'll do the same on the bottom and the, the two sides of the boat will be the same. So here's our boat. We have these extra pieces right here that are left over from our cutting. We slip this fold under here and we're drawing a line right there so that we make the curve of the boat. It turns out that what we have left is one half of the box over here and one half of the box over here. And when you slide this part under here, this side matches to that side, so it's perfect. We're going to assemble these together with some tape. If you're confused where the side flaps actually came from, it came from this smaller side of the cereal box. This part tucks right here along the bottom of the boat, and then we measured the length of the boat curve and cut a line, and then this half was the other half for the other side. So there we go. We've got two side flaps in the front and the back. Now look at that. How cool. We can tape the sides together and assemble it into a ship. We also have a bit of extra cardboard left. So I've colored it in and Ezra is going to cut out a nice big long rectangle. And then what will that be? The fly. Oy! So we assembled those edges, Ezra cut out the plank, and now he's sticking it on there with some duct tape. Yo ho ho! With some of our leftover cardboard, we can color it in, cut it down the center, and then curl it up. Pull those edges up, 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 up. Tape them onto the legs. And then the last step is to get your sails in there. Ezra has some Play-Doh. He's squishing it up. He's making three balls. We can stick our sails in there. You know behind my hands? What? I'm not telling you. Oh, there's a secret behind your hands. Is it a pirate treasure? No. <laughs> Is it maybe Play-Doh to put your sails in? No. No? Awesome. Can you 
And then we're going to use our tacky glue to glue these into the bottom of our pirate ship. Right. It turns out that our skewers were a little short. So we glued in some things to give us some height. What the pirates say? Hi! Oh no, the pirates are making a seal go down the plank onto shore. Seals can't move on shore. 